Hello everybody. This is Thomas from Denmark coming to you with another video in my series on traditional wet shaving. <clears throat> in this video I want to talk to you about post shave alcohol to the skin. There are a couple reasons why I'm doing the video on this subject. <clears throat> First of all I discovered something um, that was really kind of groundbreaking for me in my shaving routine and also I feel that some shavers may be a little uneducated on the, the do's and don'ts so to say about post-shave alcohol. I don't mean this in a condescending way it's just that <clears throat> whenever I hear uh, people say Post-shave alcohol is a no-no and uh, that's it. I always uh, think to myself, well, you know, that's a little bit black and white to see things and uh, that's why I want to uh, tell you about my experiences. <clears throat> now, let's say what have we here? I have this beautiful knife. I really like knives. And uh, in Denmark, it's not very common for people to carry pocket knives at all. As a matter of fact, uh, most people that carry knives are criminals and uh, they use them for stabbing, is the general idea. Um, it's not common for, for uh, uh, so to speak, normal people, le legit people to have a knife in their pocket. It's just looked down upon. Okay. This knife, or any other, any other knife, <clears throat> is it dangerous? Well, if your answer to that question is yes, you are right. If your answer to that question is no, you are also right. Now, whenever I carry a knife, I consider myself carrying a tool. I use the knife only for purposes uh, in terms of uh, I need to cut something or yeah basically a, a cutting tool that's what it is for me some people say you're carrying a weapon well I'm carrying something that could be a potential weapon uh, but I'm also carrying something that could be a potential tool uh, also it could be both of course um, the knife in itself is neither dangerous nor uh, non-dangerous. That all depends on the user of the knife. What purpose do you have to carry a knife and how do you use it? Some people will use it as a weapon, some people will use it as a tool. So the knife in itself is neither good or bad. It depends on the use of it. So, I feel the same way about post-shave alcohol. It can be used in a bad way, so to speak, and it can be used in a good way, so to speak. Now, before I made my little discovery, I used a regular uh, eau de toilette um, post-shave alcohol with a fragrance. Now, if I shave both my face and my head and my neck and I had to use this as a sanitizer bacterial uh, wise after a shave I would have to smear it all over my face uh, and neck and head and so forth. That would make for a very uh, powerful fragrance and uh, I, would, uh, I would smell way too much of the post-shave alcohol so it was not a very good option for me to uh, sanitize in my skin aftershave with that product. So I thought about coming up with something else. Now I have used an Allen block, uh, with which is also which also have a disinfecting uh, um, way of working on the skin, but for me it was not sufficient. On my lower part of my the front of my neck and especially on the lower part on the back of my neck I get 
very bad um, uh, not razor burn but just you, all the little pimples you know all the little uh, yellow pimples that you can get uh, from shaving this has been a big problem for me over the years uh, like I said especially on the back of my neck now I have done some things to um, reduce that in uh, in terms of shaving uh, not going against the grain um, uh, cleaning my uh, shaving tools with alcohol before I use them and and so forth and so on so the problem has been reduced but not entirely removed now the thing about alcohol is that it will dry out the skin pure alcohol will have a, a drying out uh, effect on the human skin. This is the fact. So, if you only use pure alcohol after your shave, you will get dry skin. But if you apply some kind of moisturizing uh, lotion after you put on the alcohol, you can um, nullify that drying of the skin and uh, not have the alcohol work in a bad way for you. It's all about uh, knowledge and knowing how the different products work and how, what you can do to counter the bad effects and promote the good effects for you. Now, I am an edu a nurse by education and I've worked many years as a nurse and uh, alcohol is one of the, uh, if not actually the, uh, most commonly used uh, product in sanitizing uh, in a hospital and that goes for both uh, tables and in, in operate, if, uh, when I say tables I mean bed tables for patients, they are wiped with alcohol before a new patient comes in. Um, there are, of course, used uh, alcohol in operations to sanitize the skin before cutting uh, open. Um, and especially, uh, hand sanitizing is uh, very, very big in hospital. There are uh, contain, uh, you know, the ones you push on where you get s uh, soap out. They have now those with alcohol, so you can push alcohol out in your hands, you know, and desanitize. As a nurse, I would, I could do hand sanitizing with alcohol as many times, uh, maybe 30, maybe 50 times uh, during a shift. And I never had problems with uh, drying out uh, skin on my hands, even though I did not apply any lotion after I sanitized my hands with alcohol. So, how could that be? I was thinking about this and... Um, I knew there had to be something in the uh, in the product, uh, the alcohol sanitizing product, that was in the, another uh, ingredient than alcohol. This is a hand sanitizer, um, and it is for hand infection, and it is bacterial killing. This is what I use uh, in hospitals. For hand sanitizing. Now, I put a little bit of tape over there because I wanted to build up the tension a little bit, make a little surprise. Let's see when I remove the tape. You see what it says there? Glycerin. Glycerin is a uh, product that I used in um, glycerin soaps and uh, it is also used in some uh, shaving soaps and shaving creams and uh, you can also add pure glycerin to your lather when you're building it up it will make for a little bit more of a smooth lather now glycerin prevents the skin from drying out so when you use the sanitizer you will get the good effect from the alcohol in the bacterial killing but you will not get the bad effect of the drying out of the alcohol on the hands because there's glycerin in the product. So I thought to myself, 
why not use this for shave? And after I shave and wash off the foam and leather on my head and face, I take this alcohol here in my hands and I just sanitize everything. Everything, especially on the back of the neck and on the, the front of the neck. Now, the alcohol doesn't dry at the skin because it has glycerin in it and either way I'm still applying a lotion to my skin afterwards so there's no drying out of the skin at all and then I can use my eau de toilette just with a, uh, a, a few sprints so that I will not reek too much of it of, of the uh, smell fragrance so listen guys Alcohol can be very effective post-shave if you have problems with little pimples and, and spots uh, after a shave. It has not entirely moved the problem on my neck, but it has reduced it signific <laughs> significantly. So, it's a tip for you. Buy a hand sanitizer. Uh, some of these, uh, I think, contain other things than glycerin, but they all have ingredients in them that prevent the skin from drying out. So, that was a little tip. Here's a little bonus tip for you guys. If you have a uh, expensive, I'm not saying this is this was a gift, but it's a great lotion. If you have an expensive shaving uh, lotion that you use post shave. When you put that lotion in your hands and you rub it in your hands and then rub it on your face or wherever you have shaved, a lot of that expensive lotion will suck into your hands, actually. So, a lot of the lotion is wasted in your hands. And if, even, if it is a very expensive lotion, this is uh, something that uh, is not so good because the lotion will be used uh, not uh, all the lotion on your face, but some in your hands. There are a way to uh, a couple of ways to get around that. You could wear wear rubber gloves. Uh, um, I have access to rubber gloves as a nurse, but uh, there are also another thing you can do. You can take a less expensive lotion, and before you apply the expensive lotion, you take the less expensive less expensive lotion rub that in your hands that way your hands will be saturated with the less expensive lotion and when you put the expensive lotion in your hands it will mostly stay outside of the skin so not a lot of it will go to waste this was uh, the, the tips I had for you today I hope you enjoyed the video and you are always welcome to post comments or ask questions. Have a nice day guys.